Sarah, what are you doing? I spent my life savings at the thrift store. Are you panhandling money right now? Yes. Why is that ball so nice? I got it. I got it at the thrift store. And now you're you're panhandling. This is all I have. Get back inside. Wait. Pick up. Pray. Pick up your box. Let's go. In a way, it's true. It's all true. Got to do something with this stuff, you know. Ah! So uh, let's get sewing. That was a rough start to my day. So I have this gray, gray stuff. Um, let's look at it. I got this stuff. Guess where? Just guess. Let's say it all together. The thrift store. Ah! I did. Yeah, not kidding. I got it for, I think like a dollar. And um, that kind of says something about my savings account right now. <laughs> It's pretty thin actually. It's not really like a sweatery material, but it's thicker than a than a cotton. So I'm gonna call it a sweater because I'm gonna make it for me and I'm gonna wear it. So it's gonna be my sweater and you're gonna have to deal with that. Oh! I had a, or I posted a tutorial a while ago of a super easy off the shoulder type of pattern for a sweater. And I think I'm gonna kind of do that, do that same idea. Bruh. But um, do it a mock neck, like I said. <laughs> and then not have the bell sleeves. I'll link that. I'll link that below as well. Let's just draw out what we're gonna do. People come up to me all the time and say, you should be a model. So you know what I'm gonna do is, which all of you probably know how to do already, but as I'm gonna fold the, the piece that I already made, tutorial linked below, in half, and I'm gonna use that as my pattern. Here, here's what it looks like. See how it's kind of like a drop shoulder here? Okay, you see it. Now I'm gonna lay that on top of my fabric, which is gonna be folded in half, of course. You know what, I'm just going for it. I really- mm -hmm. Fun! We made it. Not yet. Nope, not yet, not even close. We have the front and the back pieces which look like this. I don't know why I try. <laughs> now we're, we're gonna cut out some sleeves and kind of make it, make it long sleeved. I don't want a short sleeve sweater. I don't wanna go back to those days. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> gonna, cut, gonna cut those out. <laughs> okay, did that. Um, update, did that. You're ready for the next step. Here's the two, what the two pieces that I just cut out look like. And then what I'm gonna do, the sleeves that I just cut out, is I'm gonna sew them right sides together to like this short sleeve part and make them, make it a long sleeve. And then once I have both of those done to each of the four sleeves, since I have two of these sides, I'm gonna sew everything right sides together. No joke, I might be done after that. Kinda scared because you know what, I'm not scared. I'm confident because I've actually made this, this will be my third time making this type of pattern right here. I've got this. Okay, this is, this is true. This is real right now. We are almost done. Buckle the freak up. So I just sewed each of those little piece, sleeve pieces on. Looks great. I'm gonna show you what the last step is. Literally the last step. I'm excited, can you tell? Great job. I've got my two pieces, they are facing right sides together. And all I'm gonna do is sew each side here, not the top, cause that's where your head goes. You know, leave all the necessary openings for your your limbs and body and head. But other than that, I'm gonna be sewing every, every edge. It's gonna look great, I think. Um, 
Um, ran into a minor problem. This is where the sleeve ended up. <laughs> Just kidding. trying to turn it around. That probably wasn't funny. Here's the real problem. The mock neck situation is sort of not working out because of reasons that I don't know or understand. I'm getting this weird like bunch right here and then this is folding in on itself but I here's my like problem is I can't make this any smaller because I can't get it over my head. <sighs> don't worry okay I'm gonna figure this out. Hold on. Maybe this is why they don't make mock neck tops out of anything but sweaters. <sighs> I think what it is is this material just can't handle, like it's not stiff enough to handle the shape of the mock neck. I cannot figure it out. And I kind of want to just like go get some interfacing, throw it up in there. Mother Teresa, so annoying. Okay, you know what? I think I came up with a solution. I think I got this. So my solution was to just nix the whole mock neck design and just make it a v-neck because sometimes you just gotta pick your battles. It just wasn't worth it to me. And you know what? I actually own nothing like this. I do often wish that I had more v-necks. I think it looks great. Simple top. Cute not mad about it. If you're wondering where I got these jeans, well... <laughs> I have a video on those too. Link will be below. <laughs> yeah, with all the other links down there, you know? Hey, thank. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. This one was like super easy because you don't have to fit it to yourself necessarily. You just kind of have to like cut out the pieces and stuff. So check out my tutorial on my other sweater because it is super helpful. Okay. See ya. And I won't get so high.